Howdy folks. Day soap is brought, uh, shaving cream I should say, is brought to us from Original Shave Company. This one here is a Virgin Island. This is six ounces in this particular container. And uh, that's what it looks like there on the inside. Uh, it keeps with the theme of Virgin Islands, but I went ahead and decided to follow up with least namesake, uh, but different scent, that's for sure, in the way of a, of a Bay Rum scent here from Club Man. This one here, I, I really do like it. Matter of fact, this is my second container here. Uh, first one I've already used up. I have it whipped up here with a uh, Omega Pro brush, bore brush. Yeah, it's got a big knot there. There you go. That's what it looks like. I got the one with the sticker right there. It'll eventually come off at some point in time, but we'll see how long it takes. And right there, that's what the bottom of the brush looks like. That's what the lather looks like whipped up there in a small, medium, or medium-sized bowl, I should say. It, it might be small for some folks, but I, the way it was worded when I ordered this on eBay, not eBay, but um, Etsy, is that it's a medium-sized bowl. And uh, it does smell nice. Um, definitely keeps in the theme of the Virgin Island theme. Um, also, so the shaver of the day, yes. Um, got a Parker blade in this one. This is the one that uh, a few weeks back, probably maybe three or four weeks, uh, Jail Fat Boy from Shave Nation uh, did a video on this particular one. And it comes with uh, three different inserts or what some people might refer to as a rail. And you can see the blade. Yeah, right there. You can kind of see the blade exposure right there. This one here is the low one. It comes with an insert that says low, one with medium, and one with high. And I am with uh, Geo that I'm thinking that most people using it the way that we do, you know, shaving our face, uh, might prefer this one here, the low one. Uh, to me, the blade exposure, I think, works much better. It's much smoother. The more blade exposure you have, if you're trying to shave with it, um, it has a tendency to, in my opinion, it vibrates. That's how I view it. It may feel different to other folks, but in other words, you'll notice something different than what you will with the uh, low version there, which to me, this one here is best. Now, if you are familiar with... Um, uh, Parker Shavettes. Uh, it looks an awful lot like this one right here. This is the SRX right here. This one here, I think, actually weighs just a little bit more than this one. And I think it's because, dude, because these scales here are just a little bit thinner than what the SRX. This one here is, uh, see if I can remember all of it. Uh, the In other words, it's, you know, it's got a Parker and then it's a PT, which is push type. In other words, it's got an insert. A for the adjustable for, in other words, you can put different inserts in here, and then BK for black. Um, so, yeah, that's what all that means. <laughs> it took me just a little bit of time to figure all that out. But it's, it's a, you know, for a different color change, uh, it looks pretty good. And as you can tell, it's pretty tight right there at the uh, pivot point going to give this a try today. See how it works out. I haven't used it just yet, in other words. Also, over here, I have my, what was my hot towel, which is just a damp towel over here that I wipe my shaving cream off with and uh, help keep my sink water clean. Now, as goes for after the hot towel, I put the uh, pre-shave oil from uh, this one here, uh, Art of Shaving. I have had mixed uh, emotions or opinions about it because it does seem to create just a little bit of a uh, oh I guess a, what I kind of feel like is a drag but the uh, app you know the words post shave feel is pretty good um, so I've been kind of experimenting with it off camera to see if maybe if I can improve uh, I guess you might say the shave feel with it and we'll see how it works out today but I've already put that on also I just put a couple squirts in my hand and work it into my face so it's been there for a moment and maybe that is the trick in getting uh I guess you might say less drag perhaps but we'll go ahead and get started here I have um, got a few shaves already kind of sort of planned out for videos uh going through various items and probably you'll notice that a lot of the uh, videos will be with uh, I guess you might say shave gear that is uh, maybe a little bit less traveled um, 
don't see very many videos on them, kind of like this one here, uh, even though it is a new product, but as it goes for Parker Shave Vets, you just don't see a whole lot. And also, <laughs> uh, getting started this morning with this shave, uh, I have a mount for the camera that decided to try to come loose and fall into the sink. So for me, yeah, <laughs> it's been a kind of an exciting morning. This is one of those things with this particular kind of mount that I use. I get kind of concerned about uh, my uh, camera falling off in a sink of water. <laughs> it does get a bit concerning, but um, I saved it. It didn't land in the sink with full, full water, but I'm hoping now that it'll stay put. It won't uh, decide to move on me. All right, so here we go with the steel insert or rail, if you will. Yeah, you can kind of see I'm using a different camera today too. So we're going to see how this works out today. All right, here we go. Parker blade in this one here works out pretty well. Uh, I've used them before and they seem to be just fine. Uh, but if you're looking for a blade on the cheap, uh, Italian Barber, I think had the crown half blades already pre-cut a hundred of them for like what was it, $2.99? Pretty cheap. Now those blades may not be everybody's favorite, but if you work on the idea of one and done, um, in most cases I find that those blades are uh, quite all right for one and done, at least for me. Um, Every once in a while, I think I've only ran across two blades that were, how can you say, not quite up to par. Considering the price point, um, I think that that's all right. <laughs> I'm okay with one or two not being quite up to par. I think maybe right down here I didn't get it worked, uh, pre-shave worked in quite right because there's just a wee bit of drag right there. Uh, the, there's this pre-shave, but it's been kind of a love-hate thing. Uh, with DE blades, um, you know, words DE shavers, it works just fine. But when it comes to shave it and straight razor shaving, I notice a difference. Not in a positive way. But sometimes I do wonder if it has more to do with me user error as opposed to the product itself. So I understand if some other folks have a good experience with it. I understand why. Could be something like saying me not using it quite right. Not getting enough work done. Using too much of it. It's, you know, kind of a trial and error when it comes to these sort of things. And with these uh, shavers, I usually just do a two-pass shave. Works well for me. Uh, and I, I'm not one of those that, uh, in other words, I guess what some people might consider a purist. In other words, I, if I feel the need to catch my uh, tough spot right through here with a uh, another shaver, <laughs> I won't hesitate. Matter of fact, I got it sitting over here. It's a slant razor I got from Maggard's. Uh, I will use that to catch it because it's just a couple of quick little strokes right through there and I'm my shave is done because with a shave at I get a very close shave this does smell pretty nice I have links down below for a number of things that I have mentioned if you want to look them up especially uh Geo's uh video that was um uh, uh, I guess you might say kind of spot on. I have used other shave vests that have more blade exposure and those don't really work out well for me. And it had me have a lot to do with beard type and what I was using it for. And he, he touches base on that sort of thing also.
I will say that I do enjoy my shaves with the shave head, a straight razor. They are fun for me. Uh, in the beginning, yes, it was nerve wracking, but I was pretty determined to learn how to use it. Especially doing them on video. <laughs> cause you, it's kind of like, you know, you're going to cut yourself on video just cause you're on video and you're kind of distracted. <laughs> Busy talking and uh, thinking about what you're saying instead of focusing on what, how you shave. So if you see some uh, new shavers out there and they go kind of quiet, you'll understand why because it you, the moment you don't really focus and you don't have room you haven't quite developed the muscle memory uh, yeah that's going to be about the time you get a, a neck or a cut yeah these do demand your attention <laughs> there's a, <laughs> not a good idea to lose your focus I have watched a number of videos using a Shavette, and uh, there are different styles. Uh, what you see here, in other words, using one hand instead of two is one thing. As it goes for styles, for me, the other one is the, the longer strokes as opposed to short, uh, choppy st strokes. I can't, I don't trust myself to do that one. I've tried a few times off camera, and it just doesn't seem to work all that well for me. Um, uh, it, it, for me, it all opens more of an opportunity of getting a cut or a nick, at least for me, maybe it's because of lack of experience. It just needed some more work on it. Face feels really nice, smooth. Like I say, post shave with the, uh, uh, with the art of shaving pre-shave oil, the post shave, in other words, is different. Seems like no matter what I use in the way of the shaving cream or whatever, it, it just, the post shave does feel a lot more moisturized, doesn't feel dried out. Oh, speaking of that sort of thing, the longevity and so on and so forth, um, this is what's left of my pre-shave cube. You won't see this in a video anymore. I've got over here, got the, uh, another pre-shave cube set up for when I want to use it. And it's the uh, chocolate version. I guess you might say right around Valentine's is when that one there came out. But the uh, Allen block, the, the sticker here came off finally. It popped off the other day. But the block is still, is, is still hanging in there. Getting your money's worth out of these, that's for sure. Got a little bit of stinging right there. It's kind of funny. This is the side that usually catches... Uh, uh, more stinging than the other side. I don't have a whole lot on this one here on this side, but on my other side there, right through there. Sometimes, you know, when you're talking, like say doing a video, you kind of lose just a little bit of your focus and get something off just a tad bit, <laughs> just a wee. Um, <laughs> Witch Hazel, uh, this one here, uh, 16 fluid ounces. In other words, typically you would find these in about the 12 ounce size. So this one here is quite a bit bigger. And this is all I have left of this one here. And I have several other witch hazels lined up, ready to go. One of them is Thayer's and it's lemon. I picked up as many lemon scented witch hazels I could find. And I've got a few now, so enough to last me for a few years, that's for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I also got, I think, Rose Petal, not only in Thayer's, but also in Humphreys. But um, this one here, it's unscented. I don't even smell it now. It, it's there for a moment, then it's gone, but it does have its own naturally occurring scent. It's a, uh, that scent is not, doesn't work well with my nose. My nose doesn't like it, <laughs> but it's just there for a moment and gone, so I don't mind using it. And for the aftershave of the day, 
club man uh, boy hell this this one here has got a scent to it it won't be favorable to everybody's nose that's what the restrictor looks like right there it does have a bit of a clove scent per my nose it comes out a little bit on the brown side just like the color you see in the container and it doesn't take much and the bathroom is just full just filled with that scent smells great i love that this is my when it comes to bay rum scents this one here is it i really i like this one here in the aftershave and uh there's another one uh, from Golala, i think is how you pronounce it anyway they got one with peppercorns in it and that one there when peppercorns lines oh man those that scent there is really nice it works well for my nose also all right that concludes my shave for a day. I hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shaves to you.